and get a chance to show that tonight for our title fight. Here we go inside the cage with Ronnie Ladies Rollins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event, sanctioned by the English Mixed Martial Arts Association. Keeping score, your judges cage side, Ray Thompson, Craig Maxfield, and Ty Jochim. Keeping time, your timekeeper, Kath Hall. And keeping order, your referee, Paul Crossley. And now, fighting fraternity, we have reached our final destination. From the edge of your seat, witness the top of the card. It's tonight's main event. Five three-minute rounds under unified amateur rules for the FCC Amateur Welterweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the cage with a record of seven and two. He weighed in at 168.8 pounds, proudly representing Fighting Fit Manchester. He is your undisputed FCC amateur lightweight champion tonight, going for double gold, Fighting Fraternity. This is Christian Soda! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Scotland by way of the fighting city of Liverpool. And he enters the cage with a record of seven and two, weighing in at 169.6 pounds, proudly representing Aspire CSA, Jordan the Jock Rutherford. Boys in the championship fight, you know the rules. Listen to it all times, protect yourself at all times. Keep the fight clean. Touch gloves, do you want to touch gloves? Let's go. Phil Crosby ready to get this one underway. Christian Soda in the blue corner, grey shorts, Jordan Rutherford, red corner, purple shorts here tonight. That Aspire MMA team in the corner of Jordan looking to take home a second amateur title tonight. Here we go, main event of the evening, five rounds of three-minute amateur MMA action. Already Christian Soda with a long straight, trying to counter over the top, there's that team that we see from Rutherford. It's almost like they look like they should be in two separate weight classes. Yeah, but the speed, the bounce of Soda. Oh, nice knee to the body from Rutherford here as they come firing into the cage. Double, uh, I mean, the double leg is there, the hands are locked together. Yeah, yeah. He's going to try and elevate, and Soda gets their takedown early on in this fight. Very well done, smart game plan. I mean, Jordan Rutherford recognized that he said in the pre-fight height that he would be trying to go for this, and it's a great call. I mean, it's working for Soda so far. Let's see what he can do with it, and let's see what Jordan can do to get out of this position. Now trying desperately to keep his man here is Soda trying to step around the left leg of Rutherford, who is taking some breaths, but he's remaining calm here, knows that this was gonna happen, like you said, looking for his moments. He really needs a knee on the mat here, Jason, and Soda's lifting the hips up, so he can't get one. Yeah, absolutely. He's just not really giving him much room to breathe here, not giving him much room to make any kind of space. He's trying to lift his arms, but now it looks like he's got control of one of those arms, at the very least. He's got pressure on it. Yeah, on that right-hand side. Rutherford has got submissions recently. Definitely much more of a striker, but we know that all the guys at Aspire have just been drilling the ground game with Rutherford for these last couple of months in preparation for this fight, and indeed for his entire amateur career, obviously, as well. But Soda, he took this fight because he is so good at doing this, you know. He can do it all. We've seen Christian Soda get wins in so many different ways, but he had the confidence in his wrestling. He thought he could be the guy to put Rutherford on the back and keep him there. So far, he's been down for a minute in this first round. So far, so good. He looks outstanding right now in control, but he needs to do something with it as space. well. This won't win you a fight. Rutherford creating space now with that right knee, pushing him away a little bit. They just use this to get a knee to the mat, perhaps, and work his way up. A little bit of a headbutt there from Sawyer Accidental, but pretty keep an eye on that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's just tying up the big man on the ground. And that's what a lot of times you try to do. You try to make those extra long limbs a liability. You try to use it against them. We're all the same size on the ground. Very famous man said that points in the FCC MMA chat, if you can get it. I don't think there is one. <laughs> Soda, though, staying heavy, got that left arm wrapped around the hips 
in the back of the body of Rutherford that's going to help him turn him away from the fence just like he's doing now. Rutherford now trying to get a wrist control just so he can bring his knees on the inside and really he's trying to get that left knee to the mat but so does making it so difficult. Yeah, he's just laying onto that leg, putting his knee over top of that. Not able to get too much with it, but he's at least able to hold to position. That is better than nothing. Like I was saying earlier, it doesn't necessarily win you a fight on its own, and this is what starts to really do it is some of those big shots. That'll definitely win you the fight right there. So, great round for Christian Soda. Yeah, great round for Christian Soda. Didn't get the most amount of damage off, but he got a few shots off, and certainly when nothing else happens, you have to give that round yeah. to Soda right there as well. Looking Absolutely. composed in the corner, neither man breathing too heavily, but that couldn't have gone better, you know, if you're fighting a tall striker like Rutherford. You spend, you know, three minutes on the ground, that's gonna start to wear him down. Yeah, and that's the other thing it does. It definitely does help you win the later rounds. If you can drag this man down to the mat, make him wear that weight like we saw in some of the other title fights tonight, that can do wonders for the later rounds. That's the long, that's the long game. And we know that Christian Soto is very capable on the feet, but we also know the tenacity of Jordan Rutherford. At any point, he can come back. He can change this fight with one shot. We could see some of his top game as well. So round two going into this title fight, once 170 pounds. All right, ready to shut this cage. Second round of our welterweight title fight right here. Here we go. Soda staying way on the outside here. Doesn't want to be in range of that teep. That Jordan uses so often. Rutherford's hurt guys with that teep kick. Absolutely. Oh, hurting with those leg kicks too. Whew. Spinning back kick. Nothing quite lands there for, yeah, again, just a little too far away. That's that distance management. Oh, oh he gets through with an overhand right. Lovely slip on the inside by Soda. Rutherford crashes into him trying to fire back, and Soda used that as the perfect time to change levels and attack this double leg. But Rutherford doing a much better job with his back to the fence. It's going to be easier, hopefully, to frame and base out. And Soda got the takedown in the first round because he got those hands locked together. As long as Jordan is fighting biceps, wrists, underhooks, that is not going to happen. Yeah, the crowd cheering for that knee that landed from Jordan as well. He is trying to find every moment he can. Sometimes those knees can mean a, a single leg or something like that snatched off it. He was able to do it quick enough, keep his balance. There we go, he's, he's fighting. got locked. Oh, oh good Soda. job by Rutherford. This is what we were saying, his ground game is good too. He describes his style as a blend of the ground and the striking, but here we are. Back Double in this clutch position. Double underhooks there from Soda on the get up. Rutherford did a good job to get back to controlling that wrist. And that's the battle right now. Soda is always winning the right underhook. Once he gets the left hand connected to the right, Rutherford has been for a ride. So he has to again fight, strip, push those hands apart. Yeah. Because every time Soda gets some locked, he's getting the takedown. Yeah, trying to move those hands to a better position for Jordan defensively, but we're starting to see some shots landed here as well. Well done to get back up, but he's trying to strip him out, trying to take that leg away. Got to fight that body lock. Does Rutherford very hard for either man to sort of land any meaningful offense right now with so much grappling going on. Soda obviously wants to get position so he doesn't take damage, and Rutherford needs to control position so he doesn't get stopped. But there we go, great. All right. A minute left in this second round. Oh, Christian almost got countered majorly for going in with that big, big looping right hand. Trying to use that oh, left hook. Kick. kick covered up by Soda, though. Yeah, well blocked. The crowd is certainly into this one. We know Jordan has a huge contingent of fans nice. here for this one. Buck Sunder tries to get the double leg going. Rutherford again using that left hook just to keep Soda away so he doesn't come in and engage. But of course, level changing underneath it nicely there from Soda. And once again, he's got these hands locked. And an inside trip oh. gets another takedown. There it is. Yeah, big, big, big moment for Christian to get that at the end, but there's not much time to work here. It's more of a moral victory that could potentially slow down Jordan Rutherford in the later rounds. It's good scoring to get some of these shots on top as well. Another good second round between these two guys. Rutherford getting a little bit more time to work on the feet there and getting a nice reversal off one of those takedowns, so great work. 
but Soda level changing at the right time under the pressure of Rutherford. You know, look on the feet, Soda's content to float backwards because he wants to level change as Rutherford crashes forwards, and that's how he's got some of these takedowns. But again, nice reversal right here as yeah. well. And Very then well use that wizard, did Rutherford showing him the teeth. But again, it's the duck under these left hooks oh. from Soda. This is the head kick. He had the block up though. Good job by Soda. We didn't see it. But again, duck under that left hook. What's interesting is um, Christian, when he walked to his corner, took his mouth mouthpiece out and was breathing quite heavily. We've seen him in five round affairs before. We know he can go all the way. Might be reading into that a little bit too much, but it is interesting nonetheless. Very, very intense couple of rounds in terms of the ground battles. Just one man's entire body weight against another man's. Very, very grueling. Third round, here we go. Fantastic fight so far. Great to see Christian Soda winning to take the challenge and Jordan Rutherford coming to FCC. Brilliant stuff. Here we go, round three. Don't forget, guys, to follow the FCC OnlyFans channel. You can scan the QR code on the screen, find behind the scenes, weigh-in footage, and more at the FCC OnlyFans. Oh, Ooh, trying to get those kick. kicks going. Soda bouncing here, ducks oh! again under the right hand oh! and that runs to the fence. times, but nice defense from Rutherford. Jordan on the bicep control here, like he really needs to stop this hand from going around the back. It's always a right on the hook for Soda, and then once that left hand snakes around the back, that's when these takedowns are coming. Man, he really laid into that shot. That looked to be the perfect double leg, but for Jordan to nice still be standing. Work. Well done. Great work by Rutherford. Back in the center where he wants this fight. Soda with the left hook though. Good job. Good work there. And the leg kicks, he's landed a few of those. Yeah, I mean, sometimes those knee wraps are telling you a little bit more. Maybe target it. See if there's something to that knee wrap. Yeah. Stiff shot by Soda, who's definitely oh. willing to throw and exchange oh. strikes to Rutherford. That body kick is gonna hurt though. Yeah, this is a totally different round from the previous two. We're really starting to see a whole lot more aggression from, from Jordan Rutherford really coming forward here. Still throwing these big looping yeah. shots though that Soda has chained and leveled under previously. And there he goes again under the left hook. Yeah, he's got the hands together, it looks like. This is still tough to get on somebody like Jordan who's trying to spread those he's got legs. It. He's just taking a breather here, I think. Nice job there from Jordan trying to change levels with him. The soda goes for the trip, and now getting heavier. Yeah, the hands aren't locked together anymore. Oh, and still gets it. the takedown. All right, let's see what he can do here again. He's had success in every round so far. And no cage to help Rutherford get back up. So let's see if that makes a difference. Soda thinking about stepping over into full mount here as well. Got that knee almost past the hip there. Uh, trying to get that knee over, yeah. Not quite able to. Rutherford got those long legs. That does help when you're trying to stop people from stepping over, and he's turning the hips away to meet him as well. Great job by Jordan. Worst thing he could do is stay on the hips there. Now he's on the single leg. Great work by Rutherford, who's going to keep chasing this takedown as the crowd gets into it. And Soda breaks. Double angle there. Another team for Rutherford. Yeah, the crowd calling him on. Definitely on his side. There's no doubt about that. Oh, big right hook again from Rutherford. Soda staying on the outside. Doesn't seem to be too much cardio problem for either guy. Trying to throw back with the combinations. As Rutherford has stayed on that pressure. Oh, right right hand left hook here as well. Great job. Great third round, Jason. By far Jordan's best rounds. He might have taken that round. It might be two to one looking at this one. Very, very, very close fight. Jordan just showed that he ain't going anywhere. Those takedowns aren't everything. They are certainly great work for, for Christian. We'll look back at some of what happened there. That head kick didn't quite work out. Takedown attempts nowhere near the mark for Christian. Oh, nice uppercut from there as well. Rutherford, there's more takedowns right here. It didn't look like he was going to get it. But again, as long as those hands are locked, Soda's been completing in the center of the cage as well. But Rutherford did a good job running the pipe, chasing the outside, grabbing the single, catching the ankles, and just being relentless as well. Letting Soda know, I'm going to fight every second we're in there. Yeah, there's no quit in Jordan Rutherford. We also know that about Christian Soda. 
going to the championship rounds, people. Everyone is on their feet. They're going crazy inside of here. All righty. Championship rounds, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone there in nearly every title fight tonight. Rutherford back on the offense with the left leg, using it to the body. Still throwing some fakes. It's going to give him more space, letting that teeth go, surely. Stiff jab this time. Maybe that's the call from the corner. More straight punches, less looping. We'll see. Soda still waiting for his moment to time that oh. takedown. Yeah, head kick partially blocked there. Nice combination from Christian. We know he's great on the feet as well. Using that lead hook to cover distance. Putting the combinations behind it. Long oh. right hand. Soda had the hands down right there as he pulled out the way of that one. Big, big miss there. Oh, right hand for Rutherford. Right hands for Soda plants for the leg kick. That might have been Jordan's best shot of the entire fight so far. Got him flush coming in. It's a nice teep up the middle there for Rutherford. Keeping Soda honest. Trying to see some more of those leg kicks from Christian on that, that left leg, that wrapped up leg, that wrapped up knee. I'm liking the long jab that Rutherford's using this round a little bit. Is. Leg kick there for Soda. That's when that right hand landed earlier in the round. Soda now with his back to the fence. Rutherford starts to step in, faking. Goes for the oh. left hook, Soda changes underneath. This time though, Rutherford stops that right underhook from going in, but now it's not through. Yeah, he's got such great takedown defense. That looked like the perfect timing to duck under. Just wasn't able to get it, but he does have the double underhooks, like you said. He can definitely get something out of this. Using that wizard now to really push Soda away. From the turn, him off an angle, so he can't keep attacking the hips here. Got the hands locked, though. Just Christian Soda. Is this another takedown? Oh. Yeah, kind of reset it there. Rutherford done a good job breaking with the knee as well. Great work by Jordan Rutherford off the fence. Yeah, he's, um, you know, you get the feeling that Christian's takedowns are becoming less Ooh. and less successful there. Some nice combinations exchanged. He's such a big man to move around all the time. Oh, Those knees up the middle there. He's just letting him know, amateur, no knees to the head. So show of respect there if you're wondering why. Outside leg kick lands though for Soda. As he tries to throw the right hand and angle out. Crosby's having to get out of the way as they start to take up some space. Oh. And again, Matadori, <laughs> the referee. About to take the ref out the, the chaos. Pressure from Rutherford, Soda on the back foot, hands are low. The cardio on Jordan Rutherford, man, he is just relentless. Great sprawl there by Rutherford, controlling the bicep and whizzing over the top. This is great takedown defense with 10 seconds left in the round. But these are still really hard rounds to score for the judges. And extremely hard. Oh, it was a decent left hook there. Unfortunately, he didn't put that much into it. That could have been a, a game-changing left hook there. I think maybe it's 2-2. Two, two. I think it could very well be that. I think some of the bigger shots were coming from Jordan. We did see some nice combinations. We'll see what these replays look like. Might color our opinions a little bit further here. See some highlights of this full round right here. Lots of fakes from Rutherford inside leg kick. Just trying to keep Soda on the outside oh, of the octagon. Almost. Head kick firing up right there as well. Soda, lead hook to the body, misses. Rutherford pulls out of range from that. Shows him the lead hand. And there, that right hook that we thought landed a little harder than that. Yeah, I suppose he got blocked by the arm partially. And they reset there. They're breaking the action. All leg kicks from Soda. Like, we, you have to acknowledge that those leg kicks are landing. And, yes. and landing hard. Yes. Very, very competitive fight. Outstanding effort from both men. Fifth round. Fifth and final round, Jason. You're right. Last round of action here from the Olympia and FCC 39. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you joining us on FCCMMA.com. Fantastic night of fights. The Aspire team really trying to light a fire under Rutherford in the corner after that one. Soda, no doubt, trying to time those takedowns, but he's been throwing some combinations on the inside. Stiff jab meets the leg kick. Yeah, Jordan really coming forward now, really starting to bear down on some of these punches, some of these kicks. Leg kick from Jordan. Outside leg kick lands again, pulls out a range of the shot oh. from Soda. He throws the left hook here, just firing these shots from the outside. Is Soda again, lovely oh. timing of the level change. Good hips from Rutherford, gets the underhook. 
Wow. But still, the strength of Soda to push the six foot two man all the way back to the fence. Yeah, this is something he's had a lot of success with throughout the fight, is getting these clinch opportunities. Hasn't always been able to complete it with a takedown. And again, Rutherford, though, this time he's got wrist control on that left hand. He's whizzing over the top. Unless Soda gets that left hand oh, joined. There he goes. He's not going to get the takedown. Rutherford knows it, breaks from the fence. That's a potentially huge moment in this fight. We'll see what happens here. They're starting to trade. Exchanging the lead hands right there of both men. Oh, oh right hand from Soda. Oh, super. Super, super low duck under there. Still not able to quite get it. Double on the hooks though for Soda. He links the hands, can he get it? He's trying that trip that's worked a few times for him. He does have a lot of control over that upper torso now. Can he snap the man down? Can he flick and trip? Rutherford trying to stuff the head. Great work with the takedown defense of Rutherford as he's attacking the single wow. leg now. Hands are still locked for Christian Soda though. Firing that right arm in the middle to try and get this underhook and fight these takedowns. Yeah, absolutely. Christian is putting everything into this last little attempt here. He's got both the legs, but he's not able to hold on to it. Crowd is going crazy one. about this. Again, and Soda denied on the takedown. As well as is staring his man down, letting the hands go now with the right hook. Yeah, this is it, the last minute. What can either man do to seal this one? It's anybody's fight. It is the last minute, you're right, Jason. Five oh. rounds of action, left hand catches Soda on the way in. His corner are calling for him to push forward and do some damage as Soda's looking for T. He crumbles to his knees, but he's back to his feet and back on the uh, offense. Yeah, he bit on the opportunity for Christian. And Blood. Christian turned it around. Blood and guts war now with 30 seconds. Soda relentlessly oh. attacking the takedown. Rutherford desperately trying to stay on his feet. The knees down. Oh, oh the takedown though from Soda as he pushes on the head. Wants huge. to stay attached. Huge, huge, huge moment for Christian Soda here in the last few seconds. Chucks from the top, he gets one more takedown. They're gonna go to the judges' decision. What a contest! Great fight. In the Great main fight. event of SCC 39, amateur welterweight title on the line. Fantastic fight, Jason. Great, great, great fight. I mean, Jordan was game for the takedowns. He was defending them so well, but Christian was relentless, still able to get them, especially at the end of the fight here. We look back at some of what happened. Lots of leg kicks from Rutherford, but there were good leg kicks from Soda there as well. They trade on the outside. Lovely left hook check there by Soda, who was landing some good boxing combinations, finding the timing, leg kicks when he couldn't. But Rutherford did such a good job stuffing all these takedowns in the later round. Punishing with shots. There's a left shot that timed beautifully on the entry for Soda as he was crashing forward. But it's anyone's fight, Jason, it really is. You know, I don't even want to score this one. I think it was just so well, so well matched, so well put together. Christian deserved to be in this title fight coming up from 155. And of course, so did Jordan. Very, very competitive 170 pound fight. We'll get All the decision right. here shortly. Looks like we're just about ready with the official decision. We are ready to crown a new FCC amateur welterweight champion. Will it be Champ Champ Soda or three-time champ Jordan Rutherford? Yeah, it looks like um, the referee's getting some instruction here, last-minute instruction here from the judges. Incredible stuff here. All right. Let's get this official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, new champion? before we move to the result, give it up to both men for going the distance. There can be only one winner, and the judges have scored this bout as follows. 46-49, Soda. 48-47, Rutherford. And 48-47 to your FCC amateur welterweight champion in the red corner, Jordan the Shark Rutherford! Incredible scenes here from the Olympia in Liverpool. The world is on its feet for Jordan the Shark Rutherford.
three belts in one year, Jason. This man has done it. He has overcome the struggles of his life, and now he has done something no one has ever done before in the regional scene of the UK. Three amateur titles. I mean, that is going to be one happy man. I think he's brought them all with him. He has. Look at that, Jason. Look at that. Incredible performance. Incredible fight. And, you know, Christian should be happy as well, but this is Jordan's moment. Very competitive fight. Justified scorecards, absolutely. Jordan just had that little bit of extra edge here that won the judges over. And look at all that four, gold. Four titles here, look. Four we, mi total. we missed one, Jason. We have to say we missed one. Well, guys, a fantastic performance there from both men. Like you say, Christian Soda gave it everything he had. Coming up a weight class as well. But let's make sure we hear from the man himself, all of the Aspire team, the newly crowned flyweight champion, the bantamweight champion, and now the welterweight champion for that team, top to bottom. Fantastic scenes. Let's hear from Jordan Rutherford himself inside the cage with Cody. Jordan, massive congratulations tonight on a really, really unbelievable performance. Really tough opponent there with Christian Soda. What is going through your mind right now after this unreal win? So listen, 14 days ago I almost pulled out of this fight with a really, really bad infection. I couldn't train for the past two weeks. That's why I'm emotional now, man, because honestly, just getting in here tonight was a big push for me. Oh, so happy. I am. Honestly, just a big thank you to all my coaches, sponsors, and just to show what a bit of heart can do in this game. Telling you guys, go, go for whatever you've got going. Well, there's no doubt that you've got an unbelievable story, Jordan. But was there any specific, anything to speak up in your game plan tonight that you changed at all? To, to... I couldn't wrestle for the past two weeks. I was off the match, just hitting pads in the boxing ring. Honestly, it was, that was the biggest mental toughness here to get here tonight. I swear to God, that's why I'm emotional now. But I swear, like, I'm fucking buzzing, honestly. And how do you plan to celebrate this victory tonight? I've got some support with me tonight, man. We're all going to go out to town. You hear that? That'll be every single time I step in this ring, getting bigger and better. Let's go. Well, everyone, please give it up for Jordan Rutherford, your new amateur welterweight champion. Epic scenes here once again at the Olympia in Liverpool. Jason, your final thoughts from this great event. Outstanding from top to bottom. Three great title fights in the main card for the pro. Outstanding, beautiful, beautiful win there for Jordan Rutherford. As always, what else can you expect of Full Contact Contender? We'll be back at FCC 40, 30th of November, once again here from Liverpool, once again live on UFC Fight Pass or FCCMMA.com to watch the pay-per-view. Thank you on behalf of myself, Alex Richings, Jason Hartley, every single member of the FCC team and family. Thank you for joining us for another great show. We will see you next time.